talk about lecithin guys uh do you use lecithin in your formulation i mean or do you shy away from using lecithin i know lecithins are very tricky ingredients you work with if you don't know much about lecithin you can really make a mess of your formulation a lot a lot of my students i mean before they become more you know comfortable with formulating skincare product, they don't like lecithin because most of them according to what i heard from them it has really messed up their formulation so they end up throwing out uh their skincare products right so it's kind of hard when you waste a lot of ingredients and you know at the end of the day you just see it just make a mess of your formulation but the thing the good thing about lecithin uh, you know they are natural you know they are a mixture of triglycerides okay most lecithin are made uh, by you know degumming uh, the extracted you know oil of you know either sunflower for for sunflower oil, it's made by degumming the extracted oil of uh, sunflower oil using different solvents okay the same applies to soy lecithin it's just it's also made by degumming the extracted oil of uh, soya beans using different solvents now they are mainly used for making heavier cream you know I mean that's exactly what their best are for making every cream that they are also good in making water in uh, I won't call them water in oil emulsion um, but mostly they are used to make water in oil emulsion but not oil in water emulsion um, they're used to they're used to make uh, heavy creams you know things that will stick better on this on the skin uh, product for mature and aging skin so these are good for making that because they are heavy so they are usually used to make a uh, uh, heavy lotion ointment salves um sun care product body butter uh lip uh, balm lip care product and so on and so forth that's what you use lecithin for okay they are this natural for lipids uh, they can serve uh, different types of you know uh, purposes in your formulation you can use them as uh, an emulsifier okay and uh, mainly you cannot use them as a lone emulsifier i know a lot of diy have been sh uh, video i've been showing you how to use uh, uh, lecithin as a lone emulsifier it can just complement your emulsifier for that for instance if you're making a uh, lip balm for instance you can use uh, some lecithin especially soy lecithin you can use it with uh, ceteral alcohol and all that great um, and what even with bee wax just it's just going to help uh, improve the moisture of that product and uh, that's how far you can use it okay it's an excellent you know emollient and occlusive okay lecithin are excellent emollient and they make wonderful you know good you know product they helps also to repair barriers so they really they are really beautiful for making you know product with creamy consistency i basically use them for making product with no water because they they do well with that i once tried to make this to use it to make a lotion i didn't like the outcome because uh heavier lotion on the skin are not the best for your customer especially when you are making it for the younger generation so that's why i don't use it for any of my cream i've once used it for a client that i requested for it and it works well for her because she doesn't mind having heavy cream on her body but for those that don't like that you don't want to use them uh it they they thicken easily okay and they they are very you know they are not really soluble in oil so keep that in mind as you keep it they are antioxidant also um now these products okay are hard to use i must tell you especially when you are first formulating they are better used as co-emulsifier okay they are more potent though but they are best used as zero between 0 0.5 to 5 percent in creams and lotion okay you will basically add this okay how to use this that you basically add them to the oil phase of your formulation so add it together with your probably with your emulsifier with your carrier oils so had not in the water phase because it's going to really mess up so add it to the oil phase of your formulation okay 
and uh, follow the formulation procedure for anything you are formulating i will still be using this to make um to make product for you on this channel uh like one of my students when she's first starting out said uh let's see that so um boring to work with they're just like product uh, um ingredients that are made for my grandma and grandpa i just laughed yeah they are like all the i mean long back you know they use this as sole emulsifier in cream but as you know technology keep increasing then we uh, people keep you know company keep um, you know making different emulsifiers so that's why right now let's see a laid back but they will really help to improve uh, your product when you had a little bit between 0 0.5 to 5 percent in the whole phase of your formulation now what do you prefer between these two is this is my observation when making cream lotion you can use sunflower liquid lecithin and make sure anything you use is non-gmo use sunflower when making cream and lotion now when you are making lip care balm lip uh, balm another lip care product you use so lecithin I noticed a lot of uh, difference in, in using both. I enjoy using this to formulate lotion and cream. I enjoy this so lecithin to make um, lip care products, especially lip balm. It really, I remember a project I did a few weeks ago. When I tried that project without lecithin, it just didn't work that well. But when I included lecithin with it, I noticed a lot of impro improvement. So you want to try this when making lip balm, lip care product, and when you're making body products, okay, try the sunflower. So lecithin for lip care product, sunflower lecithin for uh, body care product. Now, it, don't take my word for it, just try it and see exactly how it does. As a formulator, the best way to be great is to try to formulate different skincare products using different uh, ingredients and see how it turns out. That is going to really uh, help you to continue to formulate great and stable products. So that's about it for lecithin. I know some of you are looking at it are just like, it's just boring. No, lecithin are wonderful uh, co-emulsifier and they are natural emulsifier because they are derived from oils, okay? by the, the by the gumming of oil and different solvents so they are very good for you keep that in mind because they are derived from carrier oils so that's why they are good so don't don't shy away from them just include them in your product and see exactly how it works just add it to the oil face of your formulation not the water face add to the oil face of your formulation and they are best made used in an andros product mini product that will not require any water they are perfect when making such products so if you want to learn more about formulating this is a channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new video thanks for watching everyone